thank you for coming back to another portion of why you telling my business don't be telling my business why not because i can can and i can 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 i can can and i will we're getting this story from bck yes bckonline.com about portia williams blended family between her her daughter simon and dennis and how it is faring okay don't know if simon is putting any type of words in portia ear about dennis and we don't need to be concerned about dennis we can take care baby pj ourselves this that and the third and he don't need to be bothered he just need to keep paying what he needs to pay we can get him to pay more that's even better but shattered dreams broken promises broken families broken financial accounts it's going to be coming your way because you're not taking responsibility accountability and providing stability for yourself and baby girl pj okay word on the street porch is that you're trying to take her from her bestie shamia's little girl and your little girl go to Montessori school together. They're doing well. They're, you know, fostering great friendship. And you were supposed to have the responsibility and the nurturing capability and the stability first when it comes to your family and your child. But you out here posting pictures talking about you moving and you moving your mama in to the house that PJ grew up in that she knows about. So there, once again, you're not providing stability, which every child needs. Okay? And I got Miss Bertha, candy mom, uh, auntie over here, trying to teach you the laws and the rules and the negotiations of being a parent. And she's saying that you're flunking, allegedly, like I'm saying, you f you're functioning and failing miserably. Okay? She like me. I'd be damned if you're going to uproot your child just because you feel like you're needing to move. You're needing to start a new life. So you want PJ to be over there in some new school, meaning God knows who, and have not to formulate friendships again. Your, da your mama Diane ain't telling you. She like smooth sailing. Zoom, zoom, zoom. But me and Miss Bertha saying, this shit is just too much. Okay? Just because you want to up yourself. Dig yourself up and plant yourself in another ground or foundation of growth. What they got to do with PJ? PJ is thriving. She looks like she's having fun. No acne showing, no stress going on, you know, and Candy tried to tell you, stick with what you know, and if you want to run the street, don't mean you need to fall short on being a good parent, okay? And I'm so glad Candy had these three successful wi uh, women in her life to formulate who she is and how she gets down and just her way of family image is important other than anything else, okay? Yes, we have Bertha, and she look cute. We have Nora, and she beautiful. And you know we have the lovely Mama Joyce. They're going to always be on Todd's ass, okay? If anything go wrong, them two women right now are a force to be reckoned with. And I just wish you and Candy had a very, very strong relationship. Because I'm sure Miss Bertha and Miss uh, Joyce would get, be having you in headlocks and stuff and saying you're doing everything wrong. Because while you're trying to be a perfect match with Simon, your daughter, and yourself, you think Dennis going to stand for you all that shit? No, he going to add his sick Simon out the bat. Okay? He's going to start some paperwork if not already done solidified it and we just don't know about it. He going to get some papers on you, honey, because he want 50 50 custody. But, I, you know, people in public opinion think you need to add 100. 100% 100 custody of PJ because you didn't learn anything with Cordell. You remember Cordell, your husband that you actually married and you weren't able to have kids with him. But that seemed to be a blessing in my eyes from you saying he was treating you the way he was treating you. That was a blessing, honey. You missed that one. And that was a good one to miss. But Dennis, all that you got on Dennis is that he cheated on you when you were pregnant. Okay. 
you didn't say anything bad about him. He wasn't taking care of business with you. He wasn't taking business with, you know, um, not taking business with dealing with his daughter and her financial uh, stability and anything else she may have wanted. And just looking out for her for now and for in the future. You didn't say anything about baby boy Dennis. All that you've been hollering about, he cheated on you. Okay, well, keep it a try. He don't cheat on a lot of other women. But he loves his daughter. He loves his daughter's well-being. And if she's happy, go lucky, and she's in her school that she like, and she's surrounded about friends, around friends she trusts, and that baby girl over there with her cute little cell. They're going to be missing each other, Portia. Why you want to tear that friendship up? Just because you want something new, you desire something new, and everybody else needs to just fall in line. Hell to the no, no, no. No, just because you want financial stability for yourself. What about PJ? Okay. What about financial stability for her? Because how you going around sitting, uh, sitting around here then people buy you cars and stuff that depreciates once you roll it off the lot. What kind of responsibility is that? What kind of responsibility is that? Portia, you need to take personal responsibility of your finances how you carry yourself it is not only your responsibility of nurturing your daughter and taking care of your daughter it's your duty you are liable you are entrusted by god to take care of that pretty gift of yours okay because though he give it he also taketh away all right these are gifts beautiful gifts we need you to be accountable for your actions accountability is everything and Dennis is wanting you to take accountability. Okay, just like that simple thing says. You either make yourself accountable or you will be made accountable by your circumstances. Do you hear that? Do you see that? We're teaching you over here today. Alright? Responsibility starts with no one else first but you. You. It starts with you. Portia Williams. Okay, you can blame everybody else in the sun, but you need to know your role first. Know your role as an individual. Know thyself. Then you will become acting as a responsible person. Stop making excuses for your shortcomings or who you feel is coming out at you to make you act a certain way. No, this is your responsibility to respond to things that are nonsense. You should not take part in anything that's going to draw you out of your natural character of being calm cool and collected it is your responsibility to act accordingly calm and collected and not i got to put my hands on these folks you have an obligation to your daughter not this man because actually he is only worried about material wealth and gain he's had his children they're growing up they're nowhere near the age of pj he don't too much care and want his kids on online or on blasted on social media. But he's right there with you blasting your child on social media every chance you get. Especially this last one you're talking about financialness and what Dennis is not providing. You're totally shattering your American dream of having it all. Because you're not taking responsibility, accountability, and providing stability for you and your daughter okay that man over to the left Simon that you call yourself engagement to that's just a glorified boyfriend at the time he can choose tomorrow that he don't want to be a part of you and blast it in social media somewhat what you said Cordell did when it came to him divorcing you the social media world on Twitter knew before you knew your sister knew before you knew Personally, do I believe that? No, I knew you knew stuff going left, south, you know, east, west. Because you called your lawyer. But you said you couldn't afford a lawyer at the time in your book. So how did you get a lawyer when you said Cordell provided you with not enough money to sustain your household? Okay. He didn't provide health care insurance for you or his son. But he's making all these millions. I don't understand, but that's another video. I just thought I'd bring that out since we were talking about accountability, responsibility, and stability. All right, we know from what you're saying that your parents did a good job, but evidently they didn't. Because look, look what we're looking at 
with you. Look what we went through with you. Okay, we didn't actually go through it, but you told us about it. We read it. We empathized. We moved on. This man treated you like shit. You was trying to get the same dream you and your mama had. All right? A successful, wealthy millionaire. He might be a billionaire at this time, but he treated you. You had all of that, and you still didn't have nothing. Okay? It, it's, especially where it was worth peace of mind and stability. You didn't have anything, any of that. Now, we know you did a smart move. You say, you know, you got your mama down, holding down your house and this, that, and the third. Just in case it don't happen. And then you're going to slide back in now and probably just ups, upset the the, uh, the mainstream of stability they got going on. Because they got to receive you back. You got to have your master bedroom back. But I don't believe Miss Diane going to ever move into that master bedroom because she know in the heart of hearts that you'll be back. So she's not going to touch PJ room and she's not going to touch your room. Everybody else just have to fall in line with the rest of the room. So maybe they have to build on. Who knows? Because I'm pretty sure Diane, your mom, is living there. Her mother and dad are living there as well. That's from what your book is detailing. And I'm putting two and two together. That house is already full. Even though they're going to welcome you back. Hopefully you don't bring another child back with you. But it just is what it is. Maybe PJ and that child, if it's the girl, have to share her room. Alright, but we're talking about stability. Is what you need in your life. And BCK brought it on out to us. So let's go ahead and see what bckonline.com uh, wrote up about you. It was written by Sari. She titled her article on you, Portia Williams and Shamia Morton's Daughter are Besties Forever. But not if Portia Williams have anything to do with it, okay? Not if Portia Williams have anything to do with it. They'll probably be around each other for social gatherings and birthdays and stuff of that nature. But Portia Williams trying to make moves with Simon Kabadia, okay? Or Yuri. Yuri is what his name is. He just did his name Simon, but on some court documents that were just filed under um, a house he just purchased. It was under Yuri Kabadia, and Kabadia is not spelled how we normally have been spelling his name. That's a different name, okay? Uh, but anyway, it just is what it is, but we do know that Portia's name is not on the, the deed of that new house he just purchased for them, which I really believe he just purchased for himself. But anyway, it goes in to say, Pilar Johanna is enjoying school days with her bestie. Portia Williams recently shared pictures of her daughter sitting beside Shamia Morton's daughter, uh, Shia at school and it seems to me no she's not sitting beside them you wanted pj front center and stage because if she was pj wouldn't be sitting on that table she would be putting her behind in that chair is uh, where her bestie is sitting well you could have got one good picture but see to me, it just seems like you're trying to put PJ ahead of the little, uh, her bestie. You know what I'm saying? Instead of let, letting them be side to side, you want to put her because you think she is, um, and it's just my opinion. I may be wrong, but it just seems like you didn't want a side by side shot. You wanted PJ to stand out from her, even though they're both beautiful young girls. But I guess you could not really see that. And since it was your daughter on your Instagram account, you had to give her all of the spotlight. And I'm like, ooh, girl. Anyway, moving on from that. It says besties forever. Now, not if Portia Williams has anything to do with it. Because her move that she's making to Sandy Springs. Okay. Uh, she told Dennis pretty much she was looking for another school. She didn't engage. And I'm like, I'm a Bertha. I be damned if you're going to find my daughter another school another place of residence and anything else that's new to her and you're not going to include me i'm with Aunt, Aunt bertha i'll be damned i'll be damned if we're going to go it down that way we're going to go down that road and that was in my dennis mckinley voice okay because portia mama she should have really gave dennis a up uh we call it a heads up and just said did you know my daughter was uh moving her out of her current Montessori school and trying to find a new school. She hadn't found one yet, but I think you and Portia need to do a little bit more co-parenting together and not have her go out there and be searching for schools. And if Portia came to me talking some shit, hell, I would told her this shit is too much. Yes, he's the father, the biological father of that child, and you need to get it correct because you don't go out there unless you go out there with him. He got time, you got time. Make time to do it together. And Simon don't have to be bothered. Just if he gets on her contact list okay girl we don't want to have to send a crew out there to straighten you out all right we don't want to have to s 
send send the dream team out there on correctiveness. And we we, we don't want to, you don't want Mama Joy. You don't want that smoke girl. And then he thought she wanted that smoke candy mama. But she don't. She didn't. She shouldn't have. But <laughs> she damn sure don't want it with um Bertha. Okay. I might have to send the dream team over there and straighten you out since your mama seems like she can't get it together. Okay, because they ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> They ain't got nothing to lose. They don't serve their time on this earth. And I'm sure if they were taken tomorrow, they'd be like, oh, it's okay. I've lived my life. I've done my duty. I'm just waiting on the Lord to say, good and faithful servant, or oh, well done. Okay? That's what they need to be instilling in you. Girl! Because your mama ain't telling you nothing over there. But we got you, Portia. We are here for correctives, correctiveness and control criticism. We are here for you, child. But anyway, you can't do that. You can't uproot your daughter. Especially if she is thriving. And she's loving her environment. And she's loving her uh, best years of friend. And she probably got some more other friends at the Montessori school. How dare you, Portia? How dare you treat Dennis like that? Because I'm pretty sure Dennis will probably talk with his teachers. Just like Cordell probably said, you know, you ain't got no say. You just look pretty. Be my um, arm candy and sit your ass down somewhere. Okay, but I think Dennis treated you a little bit better. A lot better than what you were used to with Cordell and these other men in your past. Okay, you just couldn't get over the infidelity part. But you wasn't even married. So he cheated on you as a girlfriend and boyfriend. Will he do it again? It's plausible. It's plausible. Okay, if you can't keep his attention. But sometimes you you can have the best made laid uh, foundation for a husband and a wife to thrive. But if a husband wants to creep or a wife wants to creep, they're going to do it. Because they got that lustfulness in them, that flesh that says they can. And they're going to do it. Okay, but anyway, going back to this lovely young lady and her bestie. Kids need stability. They don't need to be changed on top of change, on top of change. You already don't change her residence, okay? And now she got to go visit her grandma in the house that she grew up in. Then she's going to be living in a new house that she's not familiar with. Then she got to go over there and live with her daddy, whom she is familiar with. His sight unless he's half there and then half over Gina, her, um, her other grandmama. It's too much. She's like, what, what, you know, what, I mean, all of y'all just need to have the same painted room for her, the same toys in the room for her, because she's going to crack up. All these different places she got to travel just for the sake to lay her head is ridiculous. Okay, of course you're making it be totally ridiculous for your child. And then you talking about you want to uproot her, take her to another school. Kids do not deal well at her age. And probably hell when you get 16. They don't want to be tossed around. They want some piece of understanding. Some piece of serenity. Some type of peace in their home environment. Even if they can't get it. Or they know they're not going to get it in the outside world. Their inside world should be perfect. Okay. So they can have good memories. To go off on to form and make plans for a better future for themselves when they get older. They can sit back and say, yes, my parents took accountability. They found responsibility in raising me. And they provided financial stability for me to go out and do what I need to do if I chose to be an entrepreneur. Or if I wanted to go to school, that option was there too. But they did the darn thing. Of course, you're trying to tear all that down. You're trying to shatter all those dreams. You're trying to make your daughter not probably doing it because you're doing it. But you might be self-consciously doing it and not knowing you're doing it. Okay? Girl, you need to go see a therapist. Please. Don't tear this child's moments of growing around besties as she know it just because you want something for yourself and you just dragging her along in it okay just because you're moving does not dictate she has to move from her school i mean talk to her teachers dennis talk to her teachers and see how well she's doing if she's doing well if she's thriving and she's happy pull the plug pump your brakes don't change her from that school okay anyway but going back to the, the issue at hand or the topic of discussion 
Uh, she goes into her article and says, Besties forever. Read the caption underneath the picture series. Montessori School, one fan said in response to Pilar and Shy's surroundings, which resembles that of a Mon Montessori um, classroom. Yay! The social media follower exclaimed, Montessori is the best educational finance. Uh, foundation that you can give a child great job mommy well is she gonna find another job this uh, I'm responding to this uh, follower who had to put her two cents in about Montessori school one thing I can say about it um, Montessori school teaches the child to be hands-on they don't have a set uh, academic um, curriculum that they go by where they they follow this we're going to learn about numbers today we're going to learn about socialism socialism today we're going to learn about building relationships you know they don't have that it's just like a child has free will to go and be, be exploratory and they do what they want to do far as touching learning and their perception of it and that's a good well-rounded way of doing things but guys sometimes you need a little structure sometimes you need to say ah right, from one to two we're going to be playing in the or wherever y'all career choice feel y'all want to be you want to be a housewife you want to be a teacher you know and then next week we're going to focus on math okay we're going to uh do the shapes the numbers we're going to do some calculations you know something like that i'm sure they do have some type of curriculum but pretty much it's like free all free will go and let have and they do observe the children and 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 uh score them account accordingly and, and making sure they understand what they're doing why they're doing it and the purpose they should be getting from that because i wanted to put my daughter um when i had her back when i was like 23 in a montessori school and um the montessori school that i wanted to go to it was quite expensive you know and i she didn't get to a chance to do that but then i had to supplement where i taught her stuff at home that i wanted her to know which actually uh produced you know a, a great eye-opening experience uh to, for her when she went to regular school or public school and she was far ahead of the game so it, it plays a part you know if you have the money to definitely put your uh, child into a certain school like that that's free will because that tends to be their habit or whatever that would be a good choice but it is kind of expensive uh or you could like homeschool homeschool i feel is a very good extra alternative um and it's a one-on-one -on -one type thing and if you have the time the energy and the money to invest <coughs> because they do still have to pass those standardized testings in the school system uh if you feel comfortable in doing that that's your shin do that you know um uh, but i don't know where you would get the sociability part uh piece to it and and formulate them being around or uh, other kids and stuff so they can grow in that way too for socialization and building relationships uh but going back to the article it says another fan bro she's adorable i was rooting for you and dennis to get back together but i can totally see it's over for you guys pj looks just like dennis <coughs> and i know of course you got offended when people said that when pj was um just out of her wound and they were just taking pictures but Portia took it wrong. They, they, you know, they thought Dennis was ugly. Some people, not all, uh, wasn't attractive, and they were trying to say PJ wasn't attractive. But I'm like, see, you jumped the gun. You jumped the gun too fast, Portia, because everybody saw when PJ came out and the pictures that you were displaying. That child was ugly. That child wasn't ugly. She was still formulating. She was still trying to uh, see who or what she was going to look like depending on parents or whatever they did see because pj she does look like her dad well her dad ain't ugly okay she's a lighter version of her daddy she's cute as hell so that was just your insecurities your shattered dreams of what you really thought dennis looked like so are you are you trying to say dennis was ugly portion are you trying to tell us something that you had some reservations that no dennis wasn't the most attractive man but he had the features that i liked which was money because dennis ain't no ugly man so why you would get because even really shamil <coughs> in the eyes her daughter looked like her but she does favor facial features of her husband <coughs> okay so and and both children are beautiful both children are beautiful <coughs> but anyway um 
like I said, Portia was kind of really too much jumping the gun on a lot of things on social media. The things she should have been paying attention to went right over her head. The things she was paying attention to it was stupid as hell. <coughs> and shouldn't give them any of her time or energy with a response. But going back to the article, it says Portia is moving forward after uh, drama between her and Pilar Jenna Hannah's father, Dennis McKinley, aired on Portia Family Matters. Some remain convinced that Portia has not changed in character because of a physical altercation between her and Dennis on the show. Williams' loyal supporters, however, continue to encourage the pursuit of Portia Arthur to continue in her quest to become the best mom for Pilar and soon to be wife to Simon Gabriel. Body. Well, to tell you the truth, before Portia got on Portia Family Matters and she was still on Dish Nation, she was still on Real Housewives of Atlanta, PJ was her center world in a sense. She was showing herself as a good mom, showing a little different activities she was doing with PJ and being involved, <coughs> and PJ was being involved with. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm kind of, I need to turn on my air, my, uh, what do you call that? my missed air that i use because it's getting kind of stuffy in here but anyway y'all know what i suffer with bear with it okay and i thank you for that but um now it's just being like porsche partying all the time porsche's out with um simon they doing this you know she's putting everything on social media especially her instagram account and you know that they're, they're going to Costa Rica. They're flying on jets. This, the, I mean, it, it has gotten past the point of anybody being jealous of her jet-setting ways. It's just like, damn, you 40 years old. You got a child that's maybe turning three real soon, or will be three this year, and you don't totally sabotage everything in the eyes of motherhood and caring for your children. You looking like somebody's back in their twenties, traveling. Uh, um, sashaying through life frivolously by getting all these materialistic things that's not gonna you know it's gonna probably outlive you you're gonna leave it for somebody else and that's why they call it material wealth you can't take it with you you can't take it uh with you to the grave you know what i'm saying but it just is what it is and we want Portia to do better because we know she can be better but she has got to hone in her skills of responsibility accountability and providing financially stability for her child coming from her not the other man in her life but from her okay because this was her gift from god and dennis was an added attribute because he contributed the sperm to produce that beautiful baby girl but she is taking it all uh, as a grain of salt and throwing caution to the wind and you can't do that once you bring a child into the picture it's not all about you anymore it's really nothing about you it's how you're going to treat that child nurture that child breed responsibility into that child and be that child's moral compass for somebody she can look up to get her strength from other than getting her strength from the lord <coughs> which you are assume, uh, saying yourself as a christian woman this is what you believe in but is she being taught that is the question we're going back to the article it says um so i guess basically i saw that change everything was about pj Everything was about her moving forward, getting her life together after Dennis, this, that, and third. Then we turn around. She done did it, a 360-ground turnaround. She back as a young child in college somewhere, uh, partying all the time and, and, and just living the glamorous life. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, baby girl, where, where's PJ at? Where's your motherhood title at? Where we going? Why are we going on this shallow road? that the the path is so broad that all these sinners to walk through now nah, we need you to straighten narrow path where few people can follow and uh, and really attract themselves to that narrow road okay we, we need you to be girl what, what are you doing out here okay we don't need you to be straddling the fence we need you to choose one or the other you want fame fortune and greed and prosperity that way or you want to be the mother the crown of mother producing good fruit Providing stability, taking accountability, and showing responsibility. What, what's, it's your duty, Portia. You are liable to do this for your child and yourself. They have that ultimate family that you say you've been wanting and searching for, baby. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, 
In fact, it was just a few days ago that Simon gifted Portia with a Rolls Royce. The celebrity shared pictures that <coughs> featured Portia, wholly excited about the luxurious present. The only way you win if I quit. Uh, we have shared on her Instagram the celebrity mom hashtag. Thank you, hubby. So there was no confusion as to whether or not Simon gave Portia a new car. Well, new used refurbished who gives a shit okay it's something that's gonna definitely outlive you but where are your morals where are your values why are you stuck in the materialistic world when you have a family to raise to nurture to provide for what, what we're see again we're straddling the fence between wealth fame and fortune greed and death versus having everlasting life being the nurturer of a mother, the crown, the jewel, mother, okay, raising her family, being there, being astute and raising her child, children, if any other ones come along the way. Responsibility, accountability, and financial stability is what we're looking for, Portia. This is a teaching moment. This is a teaching video for you, girl. <coughs> <coughs> For you to set the tone for baby girl PJ. Okay. We see her in Adidas. We see her in that Tiffany necklace. We see her. We see her in the fake hair. You know, that you got blasted out on. Why would you put fake hair in a child? Hair that's going to grow anyway. But that's you. That's your child. We're going to move off that subject. But going back to the article it says, well. There goes the wedding gift I bought for you too. Sherry Shepherd Muse. I love seeing a beautiful black queen being loved correctly. Another fan said. Best wishes to you and your new chapter. The social media follower wrote. Yes, Simon, you did that. Yet another of Portia's fame exclaimed. What did she do? What did she bamboozle horse uh we call it horse tie? Simon Gabadi? No, no, no. He is using her just like she is using him. Is what I see. Now what grows from this point on into 2022. We all shall yet to see. Alright. <clears throat> and I, I I think I saw somewhere. Sherry Shepard was on Dish Nation. I, I'm like did she replace Portia? Wow. So that job is pretty much 86. Because that Sherry Shepard ain't going to give up that income. She might be over there warming the seat. Holding the seat down for Wendy Williams. <coughs> but she don't care nothing about you Portia. She got that income. So I guess that job has sailed. And hit rock bottom for you. So this nation gone. Bye bye. What about the Ricky Smiley show? And Gary with the T girl. Can they bring you back on over there as a radio personality host? I don't know. Because you sure must have hog tied them and told them, look, don't talk about nothing on my show that went down that last two episodes. We don't need to talk about it. Don't discuss it. Don't try to get me to talk about it. Don't call me about it. Girl, why is everything so hush hush? I'm trying to figure it out. <coughs> but anyway, going back to the article, it says Portia Williams and Simon Gabadi became engaged to be married last year. We know that didn't happen, all right? Portia told Extra last month that she and her fiancé have an official wedding day. Yeah, the fictitious one that her mother, her grandmother, and her aunt set for her. But yet, we still don't have that actual date in the new year of 2022, all right? She goes on to say, I actually do have a date now. Williams told the media source, I did not have a date. And everything kind of blew up online. My grandmother and all of the people got word. She was like, that man wants to marry you. <coughs> what what you gonna do? She, my mom and my aunt, Darlene, set me down like an intervention. And they literally gave me a date. So we now have a date summoned by the family. Now you know that ain't nothing but pure bullshit. Okay, pure bullshit, Portia. And we're gonna call you out on it. Shattered dreams, shattered life, shattered everything. Okay, because Jer Gary with the T, I know you don't talk to him, honey. He probably said, Portia, I'm going to keep it on lockdown. But you know that was some good, good juice we could have used, honey, over here. Fueling our numbers up. But, you know, Ricky Smile was like, yeah, but I know Portia. And Portia would definitely crash, you know, and burn. And we don't want to, you know, serve ties with her that way because she's family. Whether she over there cat acting a fool on her show or not. We ain't going to dog her out. And that's, that's probably be friendship and honoring their friendship. That my, all things as far as entertainment, gossip news is not something you want to 
uh bring down a person that you actually shared a meal with they came over to your house you got a chance to know the real them you know they told you some secrets you're gonna keep them till you die <clears throat> and it just is what it is so they know portion more than what she's showing us he probably said he just don't want to be bothered with it so any other media outlet can break stories this that and the third but we ain't gonna say too much we ain't gonna dog our queen because she was our queen and we love her come what may <coughs> but <coughs> they should be giving her tough love but maybe they are behind the scenes who knows but that's all i had for this video guys i was just trying to figure out girl you better keep some stability in your daughter's life that she can count on because she damn sure can't count on you and her daddy <coughs> you and her daddy getting back together but she loves her daddy so he is doing something right in her life and she does love you Portia okay but she's probably sensing uh why she's not spending a lot more time with you because you out there tracing the streets running the streets running internationally uh out the country and everywhere you partying with her some man that seems to be around her all the time she's not gonna sell that that's her stepdad now she got her real dad in her life i mean he may take she may take his gifts here and there but the love that her and her dad share will be synonymous and be with her for a lifetime so you better watch it portia because for it's all over with that girl knows who truly loves her and wants to spend time with her all the time and not just some of the time where she has to book appointments to see her own mama okay she may tell you one day at the grand old age of eight or five i want to go live with my daddy if you don't make it happen i'm gonna be singing to the wind and i'm gonna be telling my teacher and you're gonna be coming in for a uh, class oh not class but uh teacher conferences parent teach parent conferences and they're gonna tell you uh, child protective service is going to be at the house if you don't let me go and live with my dad okay and then but, but yeah, I would tell my dad and that he'll make it happen because he's grown up you know what I'm saying she's going to probably be playing both of y'all at the same fence when she get tired of dad she's going to run to you but it doesn't sound something like your childhood Portia is that not sounding like some of your childhood but she needed a mama like on um, Bertha okay you needed a aunt like on um, Bertha not like Darlene going around here doing all her religious hollering and carrying on but yeah we know diane may have fallen short but you know what a parent needs to look like and be like okay you know what what it was like growing up with your mom boy you said she was serving the community more of giving up her time than she was with you and her brother so you should have known better to do better and not let this happen because if you felt it as a child you don't think pj feeling it as a child and girl please all right and i'm with my, i'm with auntie bertha you're doing too much you're doing absolutely too much that you don't need to be doing but it is what it is of course you're gonna do what she want to do but we're gonna continue to educate her over here okay we're gonna continue to educate her over here so that's all i have for this video guys y'all enjoy it love it like it get down in those comments refresh yourselves Tell me what y'all felt if y'all choose to do so. You know, I'm always here willing and able to respond back to you and still dialogue with you about the video. Alright guys, love y'all and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.